Okay, I'm not the best singer, that's true. But this is what we're gonna do on our guitar. Basically the idea here is that the guitar is your instrument. The guitar is your voice. When you're singing over something, the ideas are really strongly connected with what comes out. That's because we've talked since we're babies. And uh, the guitar should be our voice. Today I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Grab your guitar because I'd like you to try these things as we go through them, and uh, that's coming up. Okay, before we get started, we need to talk about harmony and how notes fit something else. Basically, in music, you want to try to match the musical elements in order to sound as melodic as you can. That doesn't mean that that's the, the absolute rule, but if we have a chord with a root, a major third, and a perfect fifth, if you were to play that third, it needs to be major. In this case, it would be something uh, like this. That is the major third. If I play a minor third, that clashes with that chord. So that's the thing to keep in mind here, since we're trying to go for the melodic thing and we're trying to match musical elements, that's what we're gonna try to reproduce on our instrument. That's what will come naturally to us if we have a decent relative pitch. Another thing that you need to realize is that uh, the, the less notes there are in what you're playing over, the more choices you have, obviously. And that's because we're trying to match the elements. If there's only one note to play over, that's considered the root and over that, any note will really work. It might sound different than what you want it to sound, but that's the principle. The less notes you have in a chord, the more options you have as a player. The more notes you have in a chord, the more, uh, the more you need to be careful because you really need to match a lot of elements this time. All right, with that being said, we're gonna get started. And um, what we're really trying to do is to be able to play what we're hearing in sight. So we're gonna start with short, simple motifs. And I always go back to happy birthday because it gives you the major second interval and people can usually sing that song. So if I give you a tone here, and from that we're gonna sing, happy birthday to you. That's the first test. Can you do that? Can you sing happy birthday from this? Na 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 na. Yes? If yes, then you've got a good pitch. You can do this. If no, work a little bit on it. Uh, but what, for, what about from this note? Ha, ba, ba, da, bum. Okay, can you do it? Yes? Awesome. Now, how do you play happy birthday to you on the guitar? Just the first two notes. The first two uh, different notes. Ba, da, ba, 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 ba. Well, two frets apart. That's all you need to know. Now, I've covered that, covered that in a previous lesson, but if you're starting from here, happy birthday. Ba, 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 two frets of bar. Ba, ba. Okay, so you got that, right? The next step is to be able to sing happy birthday when something else is happening. So let's say that we have this note as a starting point. Ha, ba, da, ba, da, ba. Okay, I want you to sing that over this. Da, da, ba. Can you? Ba, da, ba, da, ba. Um, yes? Okay, cool. So you can know that this will work. If, if you can hear the happy bur, and if it works with the chord, then you know that there's a full step above. Okay, now what if we have this in the back this time? Happy bur, does it work? Yes? Great, so you, you know that you can reach. 
that note, two frets higher. It's a different sound because it's a different chord. Okay, now, one step further, okay? I'm going to now give you uh, this reference note. Okay, that's your reference pitch from there. Happy birthday over this chord. Happy birthday to you've got to almost not pay attention to what's going on in the back and sing. Do you like this sound? If yes, and if you can figure out where to play that first pitch, ba -da -ba, you know that ba is two frets higher than ba -ba -ba. Okay, so all this is just ear training with just the first two pitches of happy birthday. Now, let's try, let's try something else. Um, I'm gonna teach you where to play those. Ba -da -ba -ba. Where's that pitch? Ba -ba. That pitch is right here on the third string, ninth fret. So play that on the instrument. Okay. Okay. So can you play? Yeah, you can. Because those are the first two pitches of happy birthday. Happy bur. So you've got the ba, third string, ninth fret. Ba. That's two frets higher. So that's third string, nine, ten, eleventh fret. Okay, so you get this. All right, remember that. In your mind, lock this to, to, your, to your memory. Ba da bum, nine frets, eleven fret, ba 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 ba, thum thum. And I'm gonna play this now, okay? What did I sing? Ba da ba ba ba. Are any of these two pitches working on this mentally? Ba. Do you like this? Ba. If not, what about the other one? Ba. If none of those work, what about the one in between? Ba, 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 ba. Probably, it probably will work. We can't sing it, maybe. Maybe it's a little bit difficult, but if none of the notes that you're singing ba, ba, work over this chord, then it's gotta be the one in between. So that would be third string, 10th fret. Let's give it a try. And believe it when you play it. What do you think? Do you like it? I kind of like it. Sometimes just playing one note over a chord can sound a little off because that's one isolated interval. But amongst other notes in a melodic theme, it's going to start to to paint uh, an oral picture, something you can hear, and that's the the exercise. So we're going to continue with that. Um, here's my reference pitch. That's the second string, fifth fret. Ba. Okay, so you just need one pitch. Ba. Where would you play the next note of Happy Birthday? Well, two frets higher, second string, seventh fret. Ba. What would that pitch be? Sing Happy Birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, got it. Cool. Now, where would you play this sound? Ba. You just played it. Ba da ba. That's second string, seventh fret. Now, um, what about ba ba? Where is that ba? Where do you think? Happy burp. We took the second pitch of happy birthday, and then we made that the first pitch. Ba ba. Happy burp. Ba da ba na ba da ba ba. So ba would be second string, ninth fret. Let's check that. Yeah. So now you have um, you have the this one. Or happy birthday, or even happy birthday. Okay, a lot of pitches. We're just gonna focus on a couple. We're gonna focus on the uh, this one, the second string, fifth fret, ha, and then the the next one, happy birthday. Or is that second string, seventh fret? Remember that. Ba five, ba seven. Okay, let's play a chord. I don't know the chord. Just gonna randomly hit a chord here. Okay, what did we have? Happy. Do you like this? Uh, maybe not. What about the next one? Happy bird. Ha, 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 ha. What about happy bird? Ba -da. Yeah. Ba -ba. 
roll it from there. Ba, happy burp, burp. Um, so yeah, so. Ba, ba, ba. And you can start making phrases in your mind. Ba, da, ba, da, ba. Seven nine eleven nine seven. Let's check. Seven nine eleven se nine seven. Nice. See, we created the idea inside, and it came out through our fingers. Very slow process, but now can you play? Um, ba 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 ba. Try to figure that out before playing it. Ba 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 ba. Should be playing. Seven, eleven, nine, eleven, seven. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna believe in it. That worked. The next step is to work on remembering the pitch that we landed on. Here's a here's an example. I'm gonna play a chord here. I'm gonna go for it, hoping that I hit a right note. I did. And by the way, there are more chances of hitting the right note than the wrong because there are 12 possible pitches, and typically we have seven notes that will work, seven note scale. So more chances, you know, uh, of hitting the right note. Happy birthday. If it doesn't work, instead of going a full step above, you do a half step. And I'm going to try to focus on a pitch. That's the second string, seventh fret. Now we're going to remember that. Second string, seventh fret. I'm gonna play another chord. I don't know the chord, but this is the pitch that I'm gonna remember. Second string, seventh fret. Ba. We only scratched the surface here, and there are so many other things you can do. But the key is to start with baby steps and train your ear reconnect with um, the inside instead of relying on licks and comfortable positions listen and listen to what is inside of you figure out what you like who you are musically and then transcribe that using your pencil using your voice this is your pencil this is your voice this is your tool music comes from inside not from the fingers yes they help but if you only um, leave your fingers in control all your licks are going to sound very um, repetitive and very much like a guitar player. <laughs> you don't want that. I don't think you do. Just be the musician that you are. I hope you like this video. If you want to watch more, well, check out more. I've got so much more on my channel. Thank you so much for watching this one. Subscribe if you haven't so that you don't miss anything. I have about three videos coming every single week helping guitar players like you find their voice, find new ideas, and develop it to tell your own musical story. Practice well, everyone. I'll see you next time.